I actually find it's much more streamlined to actually create um, your test in, in my map format. Um, so as you saw on there, I tried to do the same coverage across uh, uh, into my mind maps also. So you would have gen generic um, tests here. So like layout, look and feel and the timeout. Um, for, so for example, on the, on the positive and negative scenarios that I showed you guys, um, on the on that Excel example, so we've got positive variations here, and we can actually, uh, if you look at username field, password field, and what are the different permutations, if you can actually test on that uh, on the username field with the um, entering alphanumeric characters, entering uh, length greater than five, for example, if that must be a mandatory field, uh, and then the password fields that is encrypted and entering. Uh, whether you have any criteria on whether the length needs to be a specific uh, uh, amount or combination of alphanumeric and whether it's a mandatory field or not. So as you can see, you can actually build up this quite nice and, con and easily also. You don't have to have that heavy text on there. I think if, if you're on the same page with your devs and your team, you sort of know um, exactly what you need to cover um, on, your, on your specific test scenarios. So, yeah.